So this is what it's like for me on a Saturday morning. Um, I get up, brush my teeth, of course, take a shower, come out, put some primer on my face along with some vitamin C, and then start my makeup. Um, I don't use a lot of makeup. Um, I don't take hours in there. I just get my makeup in and, you know, cover up some of the spots and mascara. I'm not into lashes. I tried it. Not my thing. So I use a really good mascara and get those lashes to pop. A little bit of blush on and then I do those lips. I believe I do the lips. Yep, I do those lips. Um, I love a NYX lip and that is a butter or whatever it's called and I'm done and I get my earrings in and um, I put on a t-shirt, sweatshirt and yes, uh, my hair is wrapped so then I comb it down. Uh, because I like having natural hair and you can see a little bit of my grays it comes through yes I get color every couple of months um, add some more jewelry on and I am just about ready yeah oh always got to smell good put my Jimmy Choo on yes and I got these new sneakers and then before I go I always make sure I have water and crackers because that's just necessary make sure you have your business cards get on the road and you're out and today I'm going to Ikea because I need wine glasses yep I need wine glasses and Ikea is the place to go when you need a wine glass especially when you're just starting out you don't want to spend a bunch of money on glasses that you're probably gonna break so a couple of my glasses broke so I come to I Ikea to get some um, glasses they get it great prices you go anywhere from $6.99 all the way up um, and these glasses they actually have the information on them to what they're for so you'll see them say red wine you'll see them say champagne you'll see them say all different types of things you can buy them by the glass or you can buy them by the box so um, I typically try to get them by the box you know and you get flukes you get different ones for champagne you get martini glasses I mean Ikea is the place to go see that one's for sparkling wine Ikea is definitely the place to go to just get your starter glasses um, until you get to that point where you really, really want to spend the, the money on quality glass. But I like IKEA glass glassware. Um, it's good for me, and that's what I use at home. Yes, it was crowded. Then I decided to get on the road because at that point I was hungry and I wanted to go and support my boy, um, Big Wally's Barbecue. So he was out today, him, his wife, and his mom, and they are very, 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 very hardworking people. And after I got my stuff, I decided to go down to Noah, and I'll tell you what I got from them later on. Um, <clears throat> so. Noda is just one of the most beautiful places to hang out. Um, the artistry, the music, the people, the energy is just amazing. And I went there because I was on a journey today because I'm trying to make sure that my juice, juice journey along with my wine journey can mix and this is the place to go. That's right, go there. And um, not only does he have juice, he has sea mosses, he has his own teas. You see those teas back there? Those are tea. You get them by the bag. Um, and that's him, that is William. And um, we actually had a great conversation about how to mix his juice with my white wine and I'm so excited to try that out. And we also talked about a couple other things. Hopefully it will be worked out and we will do some business together later on down the line. Um, but I was so super, super excited that I ended up with some blackberry sage. Yes, blackberry sage mixed with white wine. Can you believe it? Okay. So you guys, I really enjoyed my day. And this is a day in the life of um, an entrepreneur. And it's about building relationships, um, meeting different people, partnering with people, and finding yourself in the midst of it. So I'm down here in Noda right now, just really enjoying the whole vibe of it all. Um, just went to my Junker Juice Bar and let me tell you he had some guava sea moss that was out of this world. I mean that guava sea moss tastes like freaking sherbet ice cream. It was amazing. Okay. Um, make sure you continue to follow the journey of what it's like in the life of a wine brand owner. I'm Chrissy with Polari Wines. Bye. Before I go, I can't come to Noda and not come to the one, the only, raining. Come on, if you're not in Noda and you haven't gotten raining donuts, you're insane. The best donuts in the city. I know this is how I end my evening. Um, I'm gonna go home and mix Polari wines with my juice, and we're gonna talk about that with a great meal. And um, this is a Saturday, but I still work. So after a long day, um, I put together my meal and my wine and I just did a live and I'm really really enjoying my wine mixed with my blackberry sage. 
Make sure you go follow him. Okay? Polari wines. <laughs> and when you want to add something to any of your meats, yes, I got the big boy. Okay? Because I kept getting the little small ones, and I was getting very, very upset because I was running out real quick. So I got the big boy this time. And this is Saturday. Quiet night at home. My music, my wine, my salmon, my sauteed spinach and carrots. And that's that. So now you've seen what a day is like for me. I don't just sit down and twiddle my fingers and put out a bunch of posts. I put my feet to the pavement. I'm out here like building my relationships with people and making sure that we understand each other and meet each other where we are and um, educating them on who I am and what my business is all about and where I'm trying to go. I mean, that's, that's what it is for entrepreneurs. Some days you may not make a dime. You really might not. But the relationships and things that you build, those are the things that you your business will be, be built off of. So I hope you've enjoyed this little segment to see a day in the life of Polari Wines owner Chrissy. And maybe I'll do some more. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Bye. Have a good Saturday night.